Hello guys, my name is Vishujit and I am a student of IB Pro School. As 2020 has been a very unique year for almost all of us, so were the presidential elections in United States also. So I have made an attempt to do today's sentiment analysis using Python to understand how people feel about Joe Biden and Donald Trump. The data set was taken from Kaggle and GitHub and its link is available in the description below. So let's move into this slide. This is the Twitter sentiment analysis that I have done on US election. I have uh, extracted the data from Twitter. Now let's move into the next slide. So we'll be doing a sentiment analysis and on that basis of the sentiment analysis, we'll predict that, uh, that who will have the more chances of winning this year's election. So for this, uh, as I state, as I said, the problem statement is to analyze this year's winning candidate from election tweets. And we build a sentiment analysis function to extract sentiment score for each tweet and, and whether it is positive, negative or neutral. So let's move into the Python code. Over here, I've used the Python IDA called Amazon SageMaker Jupyter Instance and I have imported the necessary libraries called Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, Seaborn. Seaborn is a visualization library, WorkCloud is a text is a textual visualization library, Plotly, and NLTK. NLTK as is a popular library for textual preprocessing. I have read the data set into a data frame and I have shown the top 50 records of the data frame. Over here, I, I have shown the, the rows and columns of the data set. Now over here, I have shown the first tweet of the data frame, how it's looked like. So let's move into the slides again. The steps involved for this analysis is data preprocessing, data distribution and data visualization and the last, the compute sentiment analyzer. And it, over here, there is a description of the data set. There are three columns, user, subject and text and all the variables are of object type. Now let's move into the notebook. Over here, I have used count plot to know the distribution of the data set for each subject. So we have a subject called Donald Trump and Joe Biden. For each of the sub subject, we have visualized that how much data distri distribution is there in terms of pie chart as well as in, part in terms of count, count plot. After that, I have used box plot to know the differences between the tweets that each candidate has received. So over here you can see that over from this chart that Joe Biden has less number of tweets than Donald Trump. As you can see over here. Now over here, uh, after that I have used value counts a function to extract the users who have tweeted more than once. Over here I have used uh, the value counts and you can see over here the number of users who tweeted is 9727 and the number of rows is 10,881. Uh, 10, so I have I've used dot duplicate uh, function to get the duplicate rows and duplicate users and I have used pie chart to visualize that how much the users have tweeted. So over here you can see that these are the users who have tweeted more than once and this user over here has tweeted more than once. So this is a pie chart. Let's move into the slide. So over here I have made a small description about data preprocessing. So we need to prepare our tweets 
very clean uh, to remove all the punctuation and the stop words stop words are those words which doesn't mean any which doesn't carry any meaning to the sentences and these are very unuseful things to for the model so that I, so so for that i have removed all the stop words and i have made the text very clean The next slide is all about the data visualization part one over here as I mentioned over in the notebook that I have used countplot and pie chart to check the distribution of data among two subjects and the box plot that how much each subject has has have had the tweets. Now it's a word cloud. Uh, let's move into the slides again to show the word cloud uh, word cloud distribution word cloud chart as you can see over here that that i have used dot duplicate to dot duplicate to check the duplicate words and now i have used a word cloud to show the most common duplicate words they have used so these are the uh, words that are appearing in their tweets these are the duplicate uh, uh, these are the uh, most important words that are appearing in their duplicate tweets now i have divided the uh, the main data frame into two uh, frames two data frame that is trump tweets and billion tweets by this uh, their names in of subject these are the uh, these are the uh, like uh, five the top five rows of the trump tweets and these are the top five rows of the billion tweets as you can see over here let's move into this slide again okay fine so uh, now i have tried to extract the common word that are used in trump tweets so i have removed a uh, stop words so for to uh, know the exact words that have been used in the tweets of Donald Trump. So I have uh, made a function called remove stop word that would uh, that would help to uh, to remove the stop words from the the text, and it will clean up and also to clean up all the tweets from the punctua punctuations. And then I have made uh, to show the the most common 20 words as you can see it's appearing from descending to ascending the donald the real donald trump trump Biden. so these are the words that are being appearing the most uh, in donald trump tweets so again i have used a horizontal bar graph to show the 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 distribution of the words as you can see that the most common words uh, appearing in the top is Donald. After that, real Donald Trump, Trump, Biden. As you can see over here, the these are the distribution of the uh, word, the top most twenty common words. Again, I have used tree map. Uh, this is one of the uh, uh, wonderful visualization chart that I have used. Uh, it's it's for like to showcase the uh, the same thing, the top most twenty words in different manner. As you can see over here, that these are the tiles as you uh, Donald, real Donald Trump these are the words that have been uh, the most common words that are, are appearing in Donald Trump's so if you hover up your mouse and into each and every tiles you can see that it's showing the count so that means it's showing also the the count of the occurrence of this term in the tweets in Donald Trump tweets okay so let's move into this slide again. So, so as I can, see, so as I see, uh, as I've shown that bar and tree, tree map, I've, I've shown for 20 common words of Donald Trump. As you can see that in a notebook, I've shown that. And same thing I have done for between tweets. I've, I've used a remove stop word function and I've yeah, I have removed the 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 most occurrences of uh, most occurrences word that are uh, that are meaningless for the for the model, and then I I just removed it and removed the punctuations. I made the text clean, and now 
I have just shown the top 20 most common words as you can see that these words are appearing from descending to uh, ascending so these Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Trump, Barack Obama as, as you can see Barack Obama is also appearing so as you can see that these are the words that are appearing the most 20 common words for in Biden, uh, Joe Biden tweets in the same thing I have shown, I have shown a horizontal bar graph for the distribution of the word, the most 20 common words. As you can see the Joe Biden is occurring the most number of times. Okay. Again, the same thing, the tree map. Tree map is also the, uh, the same thing but in different manner I am showing it. So as you can see the Joe Biden, this word is occurring the most in this chart. So it's the, the occurrence of the Joe Biden word is more. So you can, if you hover your mouse up into each and every tiles, you can see that there are counts also given. So how many times this word has happened, uh, has occurred in the Joe Biden tweets. So I have divided in this, uh, as you see, as you can, as I have uh, done it previously, that these are Trump tweets dot head. This is one of the data frame and Biden tweets. This is also a data frame. So next, uh, move into this slide again so my data visualization part 1 is over so it's time for data visual part 2 so for data visualization part 2 I have used a uh, funnel chart and density contour chart and scatter plot chart now let me tell you why I have used and what is the function of it like funnel chart we have used to visualize positive and negative words tweeted that is in Donald Trump tweets and density contour chart to visualize the close positive words in Joe Biden tweets. Now, uh, now my the second step is to uh, to extract the the positive and negative words that have been tweeted for each of the subject. So let's move into the notebook again. So these are the my function. I have used one of the function, and I have iterated through each and every sentences. I have splitted those sentences into one token into words and and i have done text block function to compute the sentiment score to compute the uh, polarity score for each words uh for to to know the exact uh, status of that word whether it's positive or negative or neutral so let me tell you what is uh what is uh like uh, Take what is the function of text block and what is polarity score and what is to compute the sentiment score. Let's move into the slide again. Now I have written uh, some of the description of text block. Now you can see the text block is a Python library. It's it's used for textual data and it's not not used for only for sentiment analysis. It's it also used for part of speech tagging. You can use a uh, pass part of speech tagging. You can also use for noun phrase extraction, and you can also use for word net limit limitizer. These are the limitizing or maybe stemming stemming of the word for the classification of of te textual data. Okay, you can do that. Again, uh, let me. Uh, th this is small uh, description of sentiment, uh, polarity, and subjective subjectivity of the uh, like uh, takes block function. So the polarity score within the range of uh, zero, zero uh, to one point zero. So zero is objective and one point zero is very subjective. So let me tell you in in brief into this notebook and and show you that uh, if the if the polarity score comes uh, up like comes up greater than 0, 0.0 of any word so that means it's a positive it's if it's less than 0, 0.0 that means it's negative if it is 0, 0.0 is it's is equal to 0, 0.0 that means the so it's it's neutral so i have made a function to compute those uh, like uh, those words whether the words are positive or negative so this function helps me to do that and after that i have extracted that the number of positive words that appeared in donald trump tweets is 2871 and the number of negative words in donald trump tweets is 2084 okay okay so let's move into the slides again 
as I've I've, as I've told that uh, my day, the I have used funnel chart to visualize positive and negative words that is tweeted in Donald Trump tweets. So I'll show you into this notebook that how I have used it. Over here, this is a function of funnel bar, funnel chart. Funnel chart helps you to you know uh, to to visualize those uh, positive words. You can see over here the innocent is happy. In, in the the innocent. Now the you can see over here there are horizontal lines over here. So these lines represent that the occurrences of the word that is appear in the occurrences of the word that appeared most in in the Donald Trump tweets. So over here the, the length of the line if it's small that means the occurrence of that word is very small. If the length of the line is very huge so the occurrences of that word is very much in the tweets you can see over here in this in this funnel chart the same thing i have done for the negative words also i have used uh, that function i have used uh, this uh, the same chart that is funnel chart so that you can see over here that outrage corrupt see over here you can see that it is corrupt the the corrupt words it's the the line is having is is very huge so you can see that the most of the people they have uh, the what they have tweeted in their twitter the corrupt word is occurring the most so over here you can have a glimpse of these uh, negative words that have been tweeted for donald trump tweets let's move into the uh, same thing that is happened uh, th that I have done for Joe Biden tweets. I have also extracted the positive and negative words for the Joe Biden tweet. The, the same function that I have used, the, the text blob function that I have used. And you can see over here that I, this is a small summary. The number of positive words in Joe Biden tweets is 2600, that is 2600. And the number of negative words in Joe Biden tweets is 1711 but you must remember that the tweets that we have originally received for each subject is Joe Biden is having less number of tweets than Donald Trump okay so the data set we have received that Joe Biden is having less number of tweets than Donald Trump okay now I have uh, let's move into this slide again. So density contrast chart. I have used density contrast chart to visualize the close positive words in Joe Biden tweets, and scatter polar chart is also one of the beautiful chart to visualize the negative words that is tweeted in Joe Biden tweets. Now let's move into the notebook to show you the the charts. Over here I have used the density contrast chart. This is called density contrast chart. As you can see over here, the, the regression line that is going up. If you if you just hover your mouse uh, into this line, you can see that X and Y. You can see that it's it's changing. You know, over here you can see deeply. You can it's changing. So it's representing that these are the close positive words that have been used in Joe Biden tweets. You can see over here wise, love, wise, meaningful, happy, intellectual, original. So these are the close uh, words that have been appearing and these are the positive words that people tweeted for Joe in Joe Biden tweets. Again the same thing uh, I have used scatter polar for a chart. This is for to visualize the negative words in Joe Biden tweets. Uh, this is the, this comes in 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 manner of circle and you can see that uh, these are the words like complex, typical, lame, anger, confused, dried, brutal wide startling okay so these are the words that people these are the negative word that people have tweeted uh, in in favor of uh, in against joe Biden. okay so let's move into the slides again so the next part is i have written a function to compute the sentiment of each sentence and tweet on the basis of polarity score and after that, I've used value function to see that 
that how much each subject is uh, how much each subject is getting like uh, getting in terms of three category like what are the counts in terms of three category of the tweets so as I, as I've uh, previously I've done that that for each of the words I have computed the polarity score on that basis of the polarity score I've, I've used a function to decide that whether this tweet uh, whether the, that word particular word is positive or negative or neutral and the same thing that I've done with text block but over now I've, I've, I've done with for the each of the sentences so text block will give a sentiment score for each of the tweets okay so that whether the tweet is positive or negative or neutral so let's move into the notebook this is the pre-processing part that I've uh, taken I have used cleaning text so that everything get clean only the alpha new remain only the text the proper text that would just remain and the all the non alpha numeric part gets removed so i have used uh, one function called cleaning text it would remove all the punctuation and all the non alpha numeric uh, characters from the text so i have used uh, one of the user defined functions sentiment analysis i have used sentiment uh, like text plof to compute the polarity score of each tweet so i have iterate so each and every tweets and I have used to compute the polarity score of each of the tweets whether to know that each whether it is it is uh, it is in uh, in positive negative or neutral okay so over here you can see that I have used another function so that it gives in terms of string that is is it positive negative or neutral As I've said in the slides that I've used value counts. So this is the this is the count of each category of the uh, uh, like of the tweets that we have uh, put into a model. Now I'm dividing this the whole frame into the uh, by the by the subject like Trump and William tweets will be separated. Now I have used again the value count function to know that uh, how much each subject is getting how much their counts in terms of three categories so trump if you if you look, if you look into the uh, the numeric figure of the trump tweet so neutral donald trump is getting around 2557 and positive is getting around 17 uh, 720 negative is getting around, uh, around 1422 uh, the same thing I have done for Joe Biden as you can see in neutral it's 2340 in uh, positive also 1779 and negative also 1022 okay fine as you can see from the numeric figure that though Joe Biden has less number of tweets but the positive number of tweets Joe Biden is receiving more and the negative number of tweets Joe Biden is receiving less than Trump Donald Trump okay so over here we can make into we can go into a, a small conclusion okay so let's move this let's put this into a plot uh, into pipe plot to see the visual chart so over here I have used two of the donut charts these are called donut charts I have used donut charts to showcase the overall sentiments of Trump tweets and Biden tweets as you can see over here if you hover your mouse you can see that if you, if you these are the three categories if you can see these are the like you know the in terms of their counts and this is called donald turn uh, donald a uh, donut charts for sorry it's a donald donut charts for trump tweets and this is donut charts for billion tweets as you can see over here and then also same thing i have done but i have done in different way i have done in violin plot 
the same uh, the data I have put into a violin plot. Now over here you can see that these uh, three are the categories like positive, neutral and negative. And over here you can see that this portion, that the lower portion is belongs to Donald Trump tweets and the upper portion belongs to Joe Biden tweets. Okay. Okay, so let's analyze this uh, this chart as as we know that in terms of like in terms of numeric figure the the numbers are not varying too much but since we can see that Biden has is receiving positive uh, score more than Donald Trump and negative is less and over here if you can see over here that Donald Trump is receiving more number of negative tweets if you move if you look into this chart you can see that in terms of visualization you won't be able to figure it out but the thing is that if you can see over here in in negative negative uh, like variant plot see over here in in the section of donald trump you can see this this box is very much flattened and if you look into the joe biden uh, box this box is very much skewed so over here you can you can have a little of glimpse that the negative word the negative score uh, or maybe the negative negative uh, the negative sentiments are appearing more in Donald Trump tweets rather than Joe Biden tweets. Okay, so let's move into the slide again. So let's. So as I as I said that I've used a donut church and violin plot to showcase the the results the results uh, of the 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 three categories of each subjects. Now the conclusions we can make it out that Donald Trump tweets consist of more negative tweets than Joe Biden, and even though in this in this dataset Joe Biden has less tweets than Donald Trump but the positive tweets are more than Donald Trump tweets so we can make this conclusion so this is a small attempt from me so thank you for watching this please share subscribe and like this video